back to another video. This is Bruna. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet these super cute acorns. You know that I'm crazy crazy about autumn and I have a couple of videos coming up um, next week. I'll have more videos throughout the week as well on how to crochet little um, autumn decorations and also some clothing items as well and I wanted this one to be the very first video to celebrate autumn so happy autumn everyone if you love autumn just like me <laughs> so today i'm gonna show you how to crochet these super cute acorns i'm just in love i love them so so much so with these little acorns plus all the the other little decorations that i have coming up i have something that i want to do that i wanted to do for so so long so i cannot wait to share with you that as well so it's something that it's decoration related and I cannot wait to share with you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do and also don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video especially now for autumn and winter that I'm gonna have so many fun and cool and super amazing tutorials. So enjoy the video and now let's begin with the tutorial. So here are all the materials that we are going to be needing to crochet the little acorns. You can see them right here. They are so, so cute. So we have the yarn. You will need a caramel kind of shade and a brown shade. So the caramel is going to be for the bottom and the brown is going to be for the top. Both of them are DK yarn weight. So I am using a 3.5 millimeters hook. So I did size down a little bit. And this one here, it's the Bravissimo from Tessan.com. And this brown one here is a brown scrap yarn that I have as well. I have a big uh, ball of this one, so I just grabbed a little bit because you don't need um, a lot of the yarn to crochet the acorns, it's just a little bit. And then I'm using a tapestry needle, a small pair of scissors, and stuffing. Look at that! <laughs> so I'm using a little bit to stuff inside the little acorns and if you don't have the fiber like this one you can use scrap yarn, you can just cut them in pieces and you can use as a stuffing as well that it's another option if you don't have fiber in hand. So these are all the materials so now let's move on into the actual project. So we are going to be first starting with the bottom of the acorn and I'm using the caramel shade. So with the caramel shade, we are going to be first creating a magic ring. And then we are going to be chaining two. So one and two. And we are going to be creating seven half double crochets going around the magic ring. So we are going to be having eight stitches in total counting the chain two at the beginning. So once you have the seven half double crochets, we can now pull this yarn nice and tight to close the magic ring. And then we are gonna go right into the very first chain that we've created. So you're going to be finding the first one into the second. We are going to slip stitch into that chain to connect both sides together. And now we are going to be increasing the next round. So chain two and half double crochet into the very same stitch of the chain two here. Find the next stitch available, two half double crochets into that stitch. And then two half double crochets into all stitch going all the way around. We should have 16 stitches into the second round. All right, so this is my last half double crochet. Make sure that the middle is nice and tight. So now go into that chain two right on top and slip stitch. So now we are gonna go up to create the little acorns. So we are just gonna go up and we are not going to be doing any more increases. 
So from here, we are going to be working continuously. So we are not going to be having the beginning and the end to connect as we did here to the second round. We are going to be working from this round until round number seven, continuously around and around. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we are going to, we are not going to chain two, chain one or anything like that. You're gonna go straight into the half double crochet into that very first stitch. If you want, you can place a stitch marker here. It's going to help you if you are a beginner. And then we are gonna go all the way around creating half double crochets. You can count, make sure that you do count to, to check if you have 18 stitches. You will see that it's going to start to fold because we are not increasing, so it's gonna go up and it's not going to stay flat. I think this is 17, so now let's count. So this is the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now the last one. Eighteen. And then from here, we are not going to be connecting to this side with a slip stitch. We are going to go straight into the half double crochet and we are going to continue all the way around. So this is all we are going to be doing. So going around and around and around until we have seven rounds in total. And I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to be counting. So you know exactly what you have to do. So I'm here now in round number seven and I'm gonna show you when you have to stop. So here we have an uneven point from where we transition from round two to three. You will see that we have like a little um, uneven point here. So when you get to this point, and then here you can also count, so you can move towards the right side here, just twist it a little bit, and then you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then once you have seven rounds, you are going to be moving into this point, and then you're going to be finishing your round, the last round, towards this point here, all right? So here, I'm just gonna do one more. So you're just going to kind of match from this uneven point just to create that last stitch of round number seven, all right? And then here you are done. So to just finish it off here at the top, I just create a slip stitch here into the next stitch, chain one, and then I cut my yarn and I fasten off. We don't need to weave in because we are going to be just putting these two ends inside here and we don't have to weave in. You're just gonna do that. So this one is now done. So we are going to move into the top of the acorn. So we are going to first create a slip knot and then we are going to be chaining seven. Or you can chain less as well if you want, because for this one, I chained a little bit less and it's a little bit smaller here at the top. And this one I've chained seven and it's a little bit bigger. So you can do five, six, seven. It's going to depend on how you want this little thing here <laughs> to be, how long you want it. So I'm going to be doing seven because I liked it a little bit longer like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we are going to be skipping this very first one, going to the next one and single crochet. And we are going to be single crocheting all the way down. So we are going to be having one, two, three, four, Five, 
five and six single crochets in total. So from here, we are going to be starting to create the round part that is going to go around the bottom here of the acorn. So it's a little trick that I found out in which I think it's super useful if you have things like this to make. So first we have to chain two and we are going to go right into this very last stitch of this last single crochet and we are going to be creating seven half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all into the same stitch, the very last one. And now we have to join the two sides here together. So we are going to be joining this side with the chain two here on the other side. So the easier way is to just find here on the other side, try to move this end here out of the way because it can be confusing. So find that very first stitch, so the chain two, and then we are going to just slip stitch and put it together nice and tight like this. I think it's going to be easier if you just see how I do it because it's so hard to explain. So it's super easy, I'm gonna do it again. So we have this now, and then you're going to be moving the little tail to kind of the top of the other part and then find the chain two right on top, pull up a loop and then slip stitch. Make sure that it's nice and tight and he, and then here we have the base that we need to go around and create the top of the acorn. So all we have to do now is to chain two and then we have to go around increasing every single stitch. So we have seven, eight with here the chain two. So we are going to be having again the same amount of half double crochet as we did here, so 18. So you're just going to be finding the stitches and work your way around, making sure that you have 18 stitches. So I have to do the last two now. So I have 18 stitches around and then find the chain two here on the other side and slip stitch the two sides together. So now we have to do two more rounds increasing. So we have four rounds in total. So the first one we are counting the very first one we did around here, the single crochet and then second, it's this one that we've just Created. So for this one, you can decide if you want to do with uh, the joining with this lip stitch or you can do continuously going around. So I'm doing with the joining. So I'm doing chain two and then I'm going to half double crochet into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet into the next one. Two half double crochet into the next and one half double crochet into the next one. So we are going to be repeating this same step all the way around. So it's going to be two, one, two, one, two, one. So increase one half double crochet, increase one half double crochet all the way around. So I'm going to finish this round with only one half double crochet into the last stitch and then I'm going to be connecting to the chain two with a slip stitch and then I'm going to do one more round in which is going to be chain two half double crochet into the very first stitch and then one half double crochet into the next two stitches and then the next one is going to be an increase, so two half double crochets. Alright, 
So one half of a crochet into the next two stitches. And then the next one is going to be an increase. Two half double crochets into the same stitch. And we are going to be repeating this all the way around. So for this last round, I'm going to finish with one half double crochet into the last two stitches. And then I'm going to connect with a slip stitch here to the other side, chain one, and then here you want to leave a little bit of yarn so that we can sew the top with the bottom together. So just leave enough yarn so that you can sew the two parts together, cut the yarn and then fasten off. So now you should have the bottom completed and also the top in which it looks like this. And now we can join the two parts together. That's the only thing you have to do. It's that easy. So I'm going to be using my tapestry needle. Also with this bottom yarn here, we can cut it. So it's inside this little part here. So we don't have to weave in. So now you want to get a little bit of the stuffing and we are going to be stuffing the, the bottom here of the acorn the bottom part and you want to make sure that you have a little bit extra here inside so that when we move around it kind of moves towards the top here because it does have a little space here so when we move it around it goes to the top so just add a little bit more inside here at the bottom so that we can move to the top later so first you want to thread this yarn into your tapestry needle Place exactly where you want the top to go. I want it here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to be sewing it right here. Grab a little bit of the bottom and sew the top in place. And then what I like to do here, it's to skip one stitch and go into the next one and go up and sew it down these two parts and now we are going to be sewing both of them together so find a stitch from the bottom just like this skip a stitch from here the top part and then move into the next one and then sew the two together find one stitch from the bottom skip one going to the next from the top part and sew it together and then you can just keep on repeating the same step all the way around So I'm getting here towards the end of the sewing. I'm gonna do my last one. <laughs> it looks so cute, look at it. So I'm just going to go into one last stitch here. So now to fasten off, just go through the last stitch one more time. Before you finish the sewing all the way through, you just want to leave a little loop at the end and then you're going to go through this loop and make it nice and tight to fasten off. And then once you've done this, we are going to be hiding this yarn inside the top part of the acorn. So just go through from one side to the other a couple of times into different stitches so that you can hide this yarn inside here at the top. So this is basically how you weave in <laughs> when you're doing amigurumis. So you can see that it's empty here at the top. So before we kind of move the stuffing around, we can just cut this yarn first. And now we are going to be moving the stuffing around and inside the acorn. Just like this. So you can see now that the top here is nice and full. 
So here we have the little acorn completed. So that's everything you have to do to crochet a little acorn. It's super tiny. It's perfect for Christmas decorations if you want to use as a ornament or if you want to do a garland with different maybe autumn little leaves and acorns and other things that you can do so you can also do a garland you can do a wreath so there are many decorations you can do using these acorn plus more other autumn decorations that also i'm going to be sharing a few others here on my channel so stay tuned for all the other videos that are coming up so i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i really hope you have enjoyed how to make this little acorn because it's so cute look at them together <laughs> they look super cute i love them so so much so yeah so that's the end of the video i really hope you have enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos just like this one especially now for autumn that i have so many fun things coming up i cannot wait to share everything that I have in mind with you. So thank you everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye.